All right, so this is part two, although this is going to be a reading that can actually stand alone. Um, so you can either watch this as part two now, or you can wait and watch it later when you need your next reading. So let's get back into a meditative space, feet flat on the ground. Breathing in, hold that breath and exhale fully so exhale 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 keep pushing out keep exhaling keep exhaling keep exhaling and breathe in hold that breath and exhale fully 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 <coughs> Ooh, all right moving that energy letting it out letting it free letting it go releasing grounding it down into the center of the earth you are grounded in this space in this sacred cipher again this is also an energy healing so good job for showing up for receiving your healing feet flat on the ground don't forget spine aligned best if your shoes are off because you want to be able to allow as much earth energy in your space as possible. Pulling that energy up through your feet, filling out your entire physical body as well as your spiritual body. Recalibrating your energy field so that any and all static is released and moved out of your space. All static just becomes magnetized into the center of the earth. So that is not something that is in your space that you have to carry. So now we're going to pull in some bright golden light from the source. So find your connection to the source. Just imagine what it is like at the space of the source, the center of the source. And tap into that space and pull that energy down in through gravity, through the top of your head. And just allow it to recalibrate, smoothing out, loosening up, and calming, bringing you a new level of peace that you can take with you into the world, being in this world, but not of this world. Breathing in. Hold that breath. And exhale fully. job all right so we're gonna go back into a reading space spirit of the most high giving us a clear and concise reading at this time we're already in sacred space it is over the last bit of the reading has been shifted completely if you do not feel the shift Allow yourself more time before you continue to watch this reading. So if you watch the first half or the first part and you don't feel like you've had an aha or a shift, pause this and come back to this until after you allow the energy of the first reading to integrate. I would wait at least wait, I would say at least wait 21 days, okay? If you are ready after 21 days, come on back. Or if you feel earlier than that, that's fine. But do what you want. <laughs> that's the end result. So either pause or continue to watch the reading. Again, the old reading is done. And what did come back from that first reading is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a, is a card of alignment. If you notice, you have four wands here but that also looks like 1111 that is that number of soulmate energy that twin flame vibe that um, divine connection of a divine counterpart someone that's uh, a actual complement to you the way you were created not having to change who you are or fit into any boxes allowing yourself the the courtesy and the grace of growing as you are to grow but this person is a constant or will be a constant in your life 
We have seven laurels around the home. So you're building a castle. You're also being celebrated. So whatever it is that your, um, your life's purpose is, Okay, if if you're with if you're dealing with people that are not um, supporting your life's purpose or do not work again, see the alignment. If they're not in a parallel way, if your work does not parallel theirs in some way, then they're not the one. They're not the business partner for you. They're not the love. Per, they're not the lover, like the love life partner for you. They're just not the one for you to be telling your dreams, your stories, your wishes, all of your abundant um, thoughts and feelings and overflow. Okay, but you do have again this this came from the other the other reading. So it is definitely connected. Um so just know that in the end you will be celebrated. In the end you will get see grapes are all about royalty. That's when you know you always see in the movies the king or the caesar being fed grapes by one of the lovers or the concubines or so that is what is coming to you. You have a vineyard. Vineyards also um are are for alcohol uh, what is it called? Al wine, alcohol. So having that merriment, that enjoyment, being able to host people in your castle, building a castle. Castles are like if you go over to Europe or even um, in other areas of the world, you you look at these castles that have been there for eons or maybe not eons, but generations and generations and generations. That's what you're building with this with this alignment that you are stepping into. You are building a new wealth, um, new roots in wealth. Okay, for not just you, but for those important to you. <sighs> Feet flat on the ground, take a deep breath, just breathe all of that greatness in. <sighs> Allow it to settle and ground with you. Know that it is yours, claim it for yourself, it is mine. I receive it, I receive it now. Yes, yes, yes. Ache, ache. Spirit, any other messages before we wrap this up? You've done enough. Wow. 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 Full circle. These two both came out, and I didn't go into this one because the video cut out before we finished this one. Um, but. Oh, wow. And full circle. What did I say? You've done enough. You've done enough. You've done it. You have done enough. If you're watching this part and again, you felt that shift, whether it was an immediate shift or whether you had to come back and watch the video again, you are done. You have pulled yourself out of the static. You have done enough. And look, the grapes. She's in her own vineyard. The finances, we go from the five of pentacles, which is lack and being left out in the cold, into look what she has turned herself into. Maybe there's a makeover coming. Uh, maybe you're going to get a pet or an animal, a new spirit guide, because uh, birds are all about that spirit energy, new levels of communication. But look, you have turned this little itty bitty lack in leaves into these massive leaves with grapes that are all surrounding. These are the same grapes that are surrounding your vineyard. I mean, that are, yeah, look, that is you. That is you. You've done it. You've done enough. Good job. Good job. You've done it. All right. I'm going to leave you there. Besitos, besitos. More with the more.com.